Hey, what's going on guys? John here and let's talk about the new design of the 2023 version of the Model 3. Now, let's just be honest here. The Model 3 is one sexy looking car and when you compare it to the Model Y, which I have as well, it just looks like an overly inflated version of the Model 3. So, that's just my preference. But regardless of my opinion, there's the Model Y that has a lot more space and there are times that I preferred over the Model 3 just because of that. But let's talk about the design of the Model 3 and what's to come here in 2023. Alright, so I mentioned the updated design and that's going to happen likely in Q2 of 2023 right after the tax credit is going to be coming out for 7500 I will talk about that in another video but for this one here there has been a lot of spy shots um, or just images online that are coming out it shows that Tesla is currently working on another version of the Model 3 now we're not exactly sure what that is but we do know that they are holding off on the long-range model version of the Model 3 and that means that they're likely just holding off that production line to make uh, this a newer version happen so right now you do have the choices between the base model and the performance model it doesn't give many other options there but the long range is where they are making this new vehicle happen and I think they are pretty much there they are testing it on the roads right now with a lot of different covering for the back boot and the front where you will see a lot of shots here where the back and the front is generally pretty normal but they did cover it up meaning that there are some changes underneath the hood here most likely and fingers crossed for a new headlight and a new back area because it is getting a little bit stale there's so many Model 3s and Ys out there that's just making things not that much more special than a Corolla or a Honda Civic. So hopefully they do make some kind of change and make it look a little bit more aggressive maybe. But anyways, there's a lot of speculations online that this is going to be the first model other than maybe the Cybertruck that is going to have updated hardware for. And it looks like it is going to be because there is a new updated camera section right here when you zoom in on the headlight. And it makes perfect sense because hardware 4 is going to be needed for the full full self-driving and it doesn't look like the A pillar or the B pillar is going to be a good spot for that camera when there is cross traffic. Now there's been a lot of discussions about Chuck's left turn whether the software is enough to fix this issue and I personally think that it's not. It does need a brand new hardware placement, a new camera somewhere, maybe even a brand new sensor suite. So who knows, maybe they are bringing back radar here. That's why the whole covering for the front trunk. Now the closer up shots of this shows that the interior looks practically the same but we all know that this version of the Model 3 is going to be updated. It has been talked a lot in the past couple weeks about uh, a cheaper version Version of it. What I mean cheaper is that they are going to reduce the complexity of whatever's inside uh, and they're going to be focusing mainly on the screen itself which is what the driver is really focusing on. So likely they're going to be improving the size, maybe the bezel sizes and everything and they are removing everything else which means the stocks are no longer going to be there and we're going to be getting sort of like the Model X and a Model X where you control everything with haptic feedback on the steering wheel and then for your directions you're going to be adjusting it on the slider on the left side of the screen. Now personally I'm not a fan of that but you guys let me know in the comments below if clicking on the haptic buttons are going to work out for you. Now this is going to be a mass production car unlike the Model X and Model S. So most people are going to be living with turning left and right by clicking a button uh, which the button placement isn't the best. It's top to bottom instead of side to side. I get pretty confused when I was driving in the Model S uh, just doing a test drive and I really don't like it. I simply like to use muscle memory, flick it up, flick it down. Uh, same for the other side as well. This is going to be definitely a change and people are are going to have to adapt this. Now with the interior upgrade, I'm really hoping for some kind of control at the back. Hopefully a screen or hopefully something that allows the passengers to adjust their own heated and cooled seats. And I'm saying cooled seats, please add cooled seats to the Model 3. But yeah, just something that the back passengers can use by themselves and you don't have to control everything for them because it gets a little bit tedious uh, turning on and off the heated seats all the time. All right, so to wrap this all up, I think you guys should wait for at least 2023 before you pick up a Model 3 or at least delay your delivery until then and see what happens. I don't really want to buy anything right before something else is announced. Like buying an iPhone 14 when you know a month later the iPhone 15 is going to come out. Now there is a lot of incentives by Tesla right now pushing you to purchase your car and deliver it by December of 2022. You'll literally see it at the top of their screen saying that they'll give you a $3,750 uh, price adjustment on top of that if you pick up your car this month. And if you guys go on to the website and try to order right now, it looks like you'll get your car within the week if you order it today. Now, like I said, we'll talk about the incentives and whatnot in another video, but you guys know by next year, we're gonna get a roughly a $7,000 incentive from the government. It's gonna be a rebate probably, and that means that a lot of people are holding off until then, 
but I think you guys should wait out at least until Q2 and you're gonna get a refreshed version of the Model 3 if that's what you're waiting for or even Q3 Q4 for the Model Y. Now with all that said, there's one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that the first generation of any change is going to be the ones that has a lot of kinks. And if you guys are waiting off for a new version of the Model 3, you guys likely are going to be the beta testers of this. You guys can see from the yoke of the Model S how it's peeling off because it's not using real leather. Um, that's going to be the same for the Model 3, probably in some other areas that they're changing. So if you guys really want a solid car that's going to last you a very long time, at least wait for a month or two months after the fact and let the beta testers test it all out before you get your car. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit the subscribe button, that bell notification, and while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button as well. Um, this should be it. This is John once again. Peace out.